Section 8. Let's move objects. In this section, we will first learn to use the medium motor to control the claw. Then we are going to grab an object and move it around. After that, we are going to release the object. Then we are going to learn to use the ultrasonic sensor together with the claw to find the object first and then move it. And last, we are going to put everything together in the cleaning challenge. We are going to use motors for something else than moving a robot. We are going to use it to control the claw on the model that we are using. The claw is controlled by another type of motor, the medium motor. It is smaller than the large motor and it moves faster, but it also is weaker and uh, can't uh, move as strongly. Let's control the claw. So, let's get started with controlling the claw. Alright, so to control the medium motor, we have a motor control block that looks just like the large motor control block, but it has the icon of the medium motor on it. If we drag and drop it here, we see that it uh, can be controlled just like the large motor. We have rotations, degrees, seconds, and just turning it on or off. We are going to switch it to degrees. So, currently our robot's claw is uh, all the way down and to pull it up we have to move the motor forwards and uh, we have to move it forwards for 165 degrees. So we are going to do that. Then I'm going to put some delay here so we can uh, see it more clearly. Now I'm going to copy and paste this block. And I'm going to change the power so that uh, it moves it the opposite way. So what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to raise the claw and then lower it again. Before you run this program, make sure that the robot's claw is all the way down. Alright, so this is one way to control the claw, but it uh, isn't the only way. And it's not uh, the best in all cases. For example, if you don't know where the robot's claw currently is, using this might risk uh, stalling the entire program. Because, as you see, the robot is trying to move the claw for 165 degrees, which is how much it can move from start to beginning. But if the claw is somewhere midway, the robot is still trying to achieve 165 degrees, but it can't move it that much if it starts from higher above because uh, the power brick would come to the way due to the robot's construction. And then the program will just stall because it's trying to achieve this. But there's uh, a way to fix this. So if instead of degrees we use seconds, we can uh, make sure that the robot is just uh, going to try to move the uh, claw for a certain amount of time and then still continue. So I set the time to 1.5 seconds and I'm going to type in 30 to the power so that it wouldn't be too powerful. And uh, I'm also going to add a voice uh, signal in the end so we know that the program has moved on and uh, the issue that I was talking about is not a problem. So I'm going to put expressions and fanfare. So let's uh, try it in different claw configurations to make sure that it works. So as you see, there are several ways you can control the claw and you can pick the one you want depending on the situation.